Hey everyone, this is Scott from Very Adventures, and in this video you're going to see the evolution of our garden. I know it's been a while since we put out a video, about seven months, but we've had this one kind of working in the background for a while. But what you're looking at here is our garden as it was about seven years ago or six years ago when my wife first started. We had three rows of vegetables, um, and we had lots of weeds, and it was really hard to keep this clear. So as my wife revised and thought things over, we started to develop our garden to something much bigger than what this is. And um, this garden is about 100 feet long. Um, but as you'll see in a moment here, we decided to widen it. We put down a weed guard we covered it in mulch and we added raised beds so that we were able to better deal with the weeds. Now, I say we, but this is mostly my wife's doing. I do weed a little bit and I do some of the heavy work. Um, anyway, but this is my wife's deal. So here we are uh, clearing the, uh, the grass and I widened it and we put in a wider fence and then we put in the cedar raised beds and we also made some arches um, and we brought in mulch which you'll hear very shortly here so this is me bringing the mulch in we had a dump truck bring in a full load of mulch and we used our John Deere tractor the front end loader to dump it in there and it took us quite a while to spread it out um, some places end up being thinner than others there's my wife this would have been easier if the dump truck had been able to back down and dump it right at the garden but they were unable to do that so this is what we did we spread that mulch over the weed barrier and that is what kept the weeds down. Our next step was to build a greenhouse. So we ordered this greenhouse from Amazon. It was built in Israel. We built it on a pallet that we already had. It didn't take us long to build it. And when it was done, it looked really nice. And it lasted about a month and the first summer storm absolutely destroyed it. Um, we were able to salvage the clear pieces of plastic, and I decided to build another greenhouse. We used two by sixes instead of little flimsy pieces of wood. We had six by six uh, pieces for the foundation, and everything was built out of two by sixes. This is the beginnings of the frame and the uh, the gable ends, I guess they call it. I don't know what to call it. Here's me putting up the rafters, and you kind of see how big it is. The only thing we had to buy were the roof panels. All the other panels, I said, we salvaged from the other greenhouse. And this is what it ended up looking like. And it has withstood two winters so far. But sit back and the rest of the video, I'll let speak for itself. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So I've been conscripted to pick beans. The dogs are out here because there's bunnies in the garden. And my bag just broke. Oh, but look, we have yard-long beans. That's everything I picked right there in a broken bag because I exceeded the weight limit. Look at these. So here is a novelty. These are like, these are a green bean. Yard long beans from and Thailand. And it's about as long as my forearm. This one's probably a little bit longer. They're weird. That's all I can say, they're weird. Oh. I always pan too fast. Yeah. My wife, um, this is her contribution to the varied part of the varied ventures. Um, Purple. but she hasn't done much filming out here. These are huckleberries. 
I just had one. I didn't care for it. The first time I ever had one was in Montana. And this, these are just aren't as sweet. She's got another kind of bean over here. Well, these are a cow pea. This is called a cream 40 pea. And my wife will pick these and then she'll sit in front of TV and she'll take all the peas out of them. Half of this shit out here, I don't even know what it is. Like, I don't know what that is. Apparently the rabbits like it because Otis is looking for them. Now, Otis seems to have found, oh boy. We're gonna spend a couple of hours pulling burrs out of Otis. Otis, come here. Come. There's a good boy. Look at all the burrs on him. Jeez, that's gonna suck. And then we have Shelby. Right, Shelby? She's so wiggly. You don't get burrs, do you? But we'll put pictures up showing the evolution of this uh, of this garden. But what has happened is deer have run into our fence in several places just because they I came across the road and our fence is getting torn down but we don't really have a problem with deer getting in here and eating these so here's more cream 40 peas I actually like eating these and here's looking back at our garden and a lot of the beans that Amanda and I are picking today um, our volunteers, meaning we didn't plant them this year, they just grew back on their own. This, hold on, we, Amanda didn't plant any, I don't plant anything. This is not my portion of the varied part of Varied Ventures. All I did is the, I helped build the garden, but I sure don't plant. So this is something called pink okra. Um, I was born in Pennsylvania, north of the Mason-Dixon line, so okra is not something that was served at my house very frequently. But my wife is from the south, so we, we grow okra. I got a squash. Oh, good. I got a squash. And I do love squash ever so much. No, I don't. I don't like squash. The blossoms had bees all over them. Those are green okra. I, had bees so all this over. is not pink okra. This is green okra. And in the previous video, you can compare the two. The pink okra is pink <laughs> and the green okra is green. And that's how the name, I believe, was derived. Okay, so what we have, this is called a writing spider. Now, I'm pretty sure this is what was in Charlotte's web. And she is big, she's probably two inches. Yeah, let me see if I can zoom in on her. Now, her writing got messed up because down here, she has wrapped something up. She has a victim. And that's how she, but she messed up her own writing. But normally they do like a zigzag pattern. Honestly, I'd never seen one of these before until my wife showed me last year. But you can see she has this pretty web. Oh my God, if you met, if you imagine finding that thing in your bed, you would flip out. <laughs> that thing is, that is a big spider. Yeah, I've walked into one of those webs and gotten it on me. Ooh. <laughs> I would freak out. Yeah, I did, when I was a kid. There's lunch, the four down there. And her web, I don't know if we can see it, goes all the way down there. She's my pest control. Yeah, she can only control so many though. Right. We only have one in here. I was hoping she would have more. <laughs> so 
here she is from this side. Maybe not. There. Can't find her in the viewfinder. I don't know what the hell I'm videoing. Oh, there she is, Jesus Christ. That's her from the underside. Like, yeah, from the tip of her back foot to the front, she is probably two and a half to three inches long. That is a big spider. And through the magic of editing, We'll be able to see her where I was viewing nothing. It does look like the snow has melted off of my raised beds. I have all sorts of tulips and other bulbs planted there and kind of looks like a squirrel's dug some of them up and eaten them. I hate squirrels. Rats. Hmm. Must be chipmunk or a mouse or something somewhere. Dogs are a little excited. A little excited. All right, so the greenhouse, I imagine it's quite warm in there. It is not quite warm out here. Oof.
deer have absolutely destroyed my fence over on the other side. They come across the road and just plow through it. So all of these branches need to come down. They are shading half my garden over here. Hopefully I have huckleberry plants that come back. Still have lots of bean vines, so I'll get those off. Probably just burn them. Kept the rabbits fed through the winter. Thank you. 